Sure, yeah, my name is Dan Fugardi. It's D A N F U G A R D I. Um, I we are the neighbors of Vicky. What do you want me to? Yeah, tell us what, what yeah. you can about a vet. Um, a vet, yeah. I, I, I honestly, I only met her a few times. She was, she was um, quite reclusive, kept to herself. She's very sweet. Um, you know, as, as most people in the neighborhood knew her to be sweet, but she kept to herself, so we, we thought we should give her a space, and now it's, um, we, we think it's kind of, you know, like anything else, it's ironic or sad that once, you know, she dies, um, she, was, she was apparently uh, deceased for quite a while, and uh, nobody could figure out where, you know, wh why, um, why nobody you know, knew about this, um, and now, now that she's dead, uh, everybody is, everybody's, you know, making tributes to her and, and such. And it's sad we should do, we should do tributes for people before they die. Yeah. I was thinking maybe, maybe that should. Did, did you, did know you ever have a chance to chat with her? I did, I did. I spoke to her a few times. Um, uh, you know, just saying hi helped her with her trash cans and stuff like that. Um, you know, nothing, nothing much more than that. Uh, Again, she was sweet. I kind of get the same vibe, though, as well. Uh, there was, you know, you didn't really want to inundate her with questions because she just kind of, she smiled and she, she was, had a very um, zen energy, but, you know. I mean, did you have any idea that she was this grand dame of the B-movie era? You know what, I didn't. Uh, you, I, I had no idea. Other people in the neighborhood knew, uh, but I, 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 didn't, I didn't know. We, we didn't know until we found out and everybody started showing up, <laughs> interviewing people. Um, but we, we kind of, I think, you know, I think there's, there's some people in the neighborhood, myself included, that felt bad that, um, that you know, maybe we should have been more proactive with, uh, with interacting with her. Um, Did it look like she had family that came to visit her often, or was she pretty much alone most of the time? I, I never saw. Uh, it wasn't her, her house wasn't very, you know, it, it wasn't an active place. People weren't coming and going. In fact, I never really saw anybody come or go. That doesn't mean much. Uh, I, I'm not out here looking at her house all day. Maybe there were. I didn't, I didn't see uh, many people. It was a really quiet house. It was a really quiet house. Uh, I, you know what? I don't ever even remember seeing, I don't think that she drove a car. I don't, I don't think she had a car. Uh, maybe she took a, a cab or a car service. We see cars up here sometimes. Uh, I, I don't know. So we're curious, how long have you been in the neighborhood? Because apparently this may have happened as long as a year ago. They say, people have been saying it happened um, a year ago. I think that number's been exaggerated. It started with six months yeah. and went to eight months and ten months. I, I, uh, I mean, whatever, you know, the, the, I don't know if it's a coroner or whoever, whoever checks that out, whatever doctor is supposed to know that. You know, I, I don't think it's been a year. I, I believe I've seen her well within a year. I, the, the only time that I that I really saw her was when she was taking her trash out, um, and that was that was you know infrequently. When you did see her, what was her appearance like? What was her dress? Was she like usually in PJs? Was she dressed up? Um, I would say casual, you know, casual day dress. Uh, she just she. She, I know she watched movies late at night because she blasted the TV and, and she would do that and that, you know, and it, we noticed that it got quiet and I did notice that it had been more quiet, but you tend not to butt into people's business. You think that, you know, on, you think that, um, I mean, she could have been visiting family or, you know, gone to a home or whatever the case. I mean, I, I don't really, I don't know, I guess there's a little bit of guilt in a sense. That especially with the elderly, we should... We should push those thoughts back that people don't want to be bothered and every once in a while say hi and ask and I think if we had done that then maybe, you know, she would have she would have had more people in her life and it would have um, you know, it would have been it would have been the right thing to do. This door over here, which as you can see is becoming overgrown with, with greenery. And um, she would take her she would sometimes take a trash out. She left her trash can out frequently though. Um, and, and, and sometimes she would take it in. I, I don't know what, you know, I, just it was sporadic. Um, other than that, we heard guys. music and, and TV at night sometimes, but this is it.
Like you said before, we really should engage the elderly and just see how they're doing and ask them a couple questions. It's never going to bother them. That's a good point.